color coordinated. Bird. Yeah. Deliberate. Yes, that was so um, it's so intentional. I'm Lucas, um, associate director, and which means that I get to sit back and watch a lot of very talented people sing amazing music, mostly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm Lauren. I'm also one of the associate directors, and I am on a team with Lucas and Fitz. Creative processes in terms of um, looking at looking at figuring, looking at what happens out of that, listening to a lot, a lot of versions um, with a lot of, lot of different singers, and then suddenly there's always a moment in every single recording, every single production, where something clicks. You're like, that's very funny. That's brilliant. And it's that kind of moment, these little moments that you spot over different productions that you want to include in your own and that you want people to feel as well. I am someone who is consistently asking the singers to look at what they're saying, um, you know, getting them to reflect on their character. Um, getting singers to be actors. Yes, getting yes. singers <laughs> to be actors is, is what I, I try to push. Obviously, just the best opera ever, and everyone should come watch it. <laughs> that was explicit. But <laughs> I, I love opera. I think it's an incredible art form, and being able to do something—it's unique. It is a very rare opportunity that something this um, this big gets to be done here in Oxford, and um, I just thought I've got to try and be part of that. It's my first and only year at Oxford, so I didn't quite know what the climate was um, coming into it, but I think I've realized um, as this production go has gone on that it is a really big deal and it's a really big thing. Getting to come back and uh, do it with such eager and intrepid uh, team, team members and, and actors has mm -hmm. just been, it's been a reward every time I've done it. Opera, it's, it's, it's a rare opportunity everywhere, mm -hmm. and, and what we're doing here I think is a, a actually quite incredible because everyone has this idea of opera you dress up and go to the you go to Covent Garden mm -hmm. and you're in black tie or whatever I mean no one goes to Covent Garden in black tie you stand up like like quite something if you did but um, it, to bring opera into uh, the amateur sphere to um, show that this is something that is relevant to people that is uh, really really exciting and fresh in a work that is well you, you can say that it's, pro it, that it's however old but it feels fresh, it feels modern, it feels contemporary. And to be able to bring that out, show people that, I think is a wonderful opportunity. I think I'm Kevin Bino in the sense that I'm an absolute mess, haven't got it together, have no idea what's going on, but somehow I'm uh, sitting in this chair. <laughs> oh, there are so many. Um, <laughs> last term and it was just I had been taught on loop um, <laughs> getting me through those two those mm. two papers I had to be in for literature. Anyway. <laughs> um, do you? Oh. <laughs> well a mad Spanish day um, that uh, can't seem to go on long enough. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It is, it is, I mean, it's a rare opportunity. It's fantastic. It, we have a brilliant cast. Brilliant, brilliant singers. It's a brilliant venue. Venues. Um, and it's a brilliant opera. I mean, what more, what more could you want? <laughs>